So we talked about pretty much some of the best iPhones you can buy, some of the best iPhones, Samsungs, all these other devices. Now let's talk about some of the best, cheapest iPhones you can purchase in 2022. Now if you watch my other videos, there's a lot of overlap, but pretty much as I mentioned before, time after time after time, the lowest iPhone and the cheapest iPhone I would recommend buying this year are either the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 7 Plus. I would not recommend going any lower than these specific devices. And the main reason for this is because the iPhone 7 and 7 plus are pretty much going to be the you know lowest supported iphones on ios 16 that's rumored to be the you know device list so if you own an iphone 6s or below those iphones are not going to be supported with this version of software which is kind of unfortunate but it is expected as of this point so the iphone 7 or 7 plus those are the cheapest ones i would recommend buying you can probably pick up an iPhone 7 for maybe around $90 to about $120. With the iPhone 7 Plus, you can probably buy for like $120 to about $150, you know, for in pretty good condition. Of course, prices fluctuate, but those are the lowest I would recommend. And even those ones are kind of hit or miss. The 7 Plus is actually a pretty decent value depending on how long you're keeping it. But if you plan on keeping a phone for two years or less than two years, the 7 or 7 Plus should be good enough for the most part to still get software updates and security updates. So those are the lowest ones I'd recommend. Now, the next category are the best used priced iPhones that I could probably recommend to you. Now there were two iPhones in this category, the first one being the iPhone 10. In my opinion, this is such a beautiful device that Apple made. It's turning five years old this year, which it doesn't even seem like it. You know, it doesn't seem like it's turning five years old, but it is. And this is another one of those devices that's going to still be supported with software for a very long amount of time. The build quality is very good. Performance is awesome for the most part. And this was the first iPhone with the non with the gesture based design and this was a very solid device from Apple and I'm really happy with how it's been holding up the last couple of years the camera quality has been pretty solid as well and for sure I mean if you're trying to buy an iPhone you can't really go wrong with an iPhone 10 even in 2022 now it's definitely starting to show its age a little bit especially with the lack of promotion and the triple camera setup and the battery life may be one of those issues that you may have with this phone but I think you know if you have maybe like $250 to spend this is not a bad option at all. Now another iPhone that I think is kind of in the same suit is something like an iPhone XR. This is another solid device that Apple made in 2018. It's turning four years old this year and I do think if you're in the market and you want to buy an iPhone that you know can get you from point A to point B, this may be a better option for some people than the iPhone X, specifically within the battery life department and within the longevity department. The iPhone XR may last longer than the iPhone X, they may last the same, it's kind of hard to tell right now, but even if it doesn't, you know, the XR is still going to be supported for quite a bit of time, and up until last year, Apple was still selling it, so it's not like you're buying a really outdated device. This thing was still a current device up until a few months ago, so I think the XR is another solid device for sure. Now those are some iPhones I would recommend buying in the used market. Now if you wanted to buy the best, cheapest iPhone that Apple is making, the cheapest iPhone Apple makes is the iPhone SE second generation, but that's not even the best one I would recommend recommend buying. The iPhone 11, which is that $499 phone from Apple, this is probably the best brand new iPhone you can buy if you have to go to the Apple store and pick it up brand new. This device is so beautiful. It has so much capability. And to be honest, even from an iPhone 13 to an iPhone 11, there really isn't that much difference. And this is $499 brand new. This device has a beautiful display on the front. For the most part, it's not perfect. It's an IPS panel, but it's still pretty good. You have an amazing camera setup on this thing still for the price tag. Battery life has been pretty solid. It's still going to be getting software support for many more years. And I think this is probably that one phone that Apple made that I'm a huge fan of. You know, this was the last time we saw an iPhone, you know, of this caliber for this size at a much cheaper price tag than what we were expecting because the iPhone mini lineup came after that and kind of took that price tag. But I do think if you're in the market, the iPhone 11, if you have to go to, you know, the Apple store and buy an iPhone brand new, an iPhone 11 is a very solid option and you honestly can't really go wrong with it. So in terms of that, that covers it up there. If you want to purchase these iPhones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. If you guys enjoy the video, hit the like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.